Welcome back to the series about the Divine Office. Questions about what changed after Vatican II are always interesting and provocative, aren't they? So the question has arisen in the past. Are we laypersons who pray the Liturgy of the Hours praying liturgically? Well, the short answer is yes. I'm just going to take a minute to explain why. There is some literature online that is drafted by a theologian from before the Second Vatican Council that says that praying the liturgy of the hours is only a form of piety or an act of devotion. What he's saying is that only those who are deputized as special ministers like priests, minor ministers, and special ministers like sisters, and those who help with the church's work could be praying liturgically. Thankfully, this is actually not the way it is now. You see, the reason why it changed after Vatican II is because Catholics, by nature of the universal and common priesthood that Christ has bestowed on them, they have the authority to pray the Liturgy of the Hours, as theologians like to say, in the name of the entire church. That's just true. However, before the Second Vatican Council, there was a canon law in place, and it was a long-standing canon law that forbade laypersons from praying the hours in the name of the church on their own. I'm sure the church had some kind of good reason for this at some point, perhaps not wanting to give too much control over the liturgy to someone who couldn't handle it, etc. But in the aftermath of Vatican II, with better training and catechesis, there was no reason for this. So the council embarked on an ambitious project to make Liturgy of the Hours available as a way of praying in the name of the entire church to each baptized and confirmed Catholic. Also, another thing that's often said is that the Liturgy of the Hours shouldn't be said by yourself. I have to say that if that were true, all of the clergy that sit by themselves praying it would be kind of out of sync with what they were supposed to do, don't you think? Actually, clergy are taught that their office lacks nothing when it is said by themselves privately. So having set aside those two issues, I want to continue to teaching what I've discovered about the office in the next video.